What's up guys, this is Gaurav Bhatnagar. In today's video we are going to create a new partition in RHEL 7 and we will mount it permanently. Ok, let's start. Go to application and open the terminal. Here I am typing F fdisk hyphen l so here we can see we are having two hard drives here disk dev sda and dev sdb in the drive sda we have five partitions sda 1 2 3 4 and 5 the fourth is our extended partition and the number 5 is our first logical drive in the extended partition okay we can also view it in slash proc partitions here we can also see drive sda and sdb so we can see here that the drive sdb it has no partitions yet so we are going to create partitions in this drive sdb hard drive ok let's start first command we are using is fdisk slash dev SDA sorry SDB this is our second hard drive SDB okay let's start here if we want to view the commands which are uh, which have been using in F disk so just type M and press enter so these are the commands A B C D G L M so for creating a new partition the command is N okay so for printing the partition table the command is p for quitting the f disk command is q if you change any type of change if you make any type of change in the drive then press w for write so these are the commands so first of all p for print so we can see here sdb this is our second hard drive 5 gb hard drive and there are no partitions in this so let's create our first partition so press n for new partition and enter then we are having two options p for primary and e for extended so we are going to select p primary that is default option so i'll not type anything just press enter partition number 1 to 4 we can give primary partition number 1 to 4 but I am not going to type anything here because the default is 1 just press enter first sector now here in the drive sdb we have part, uh, sector numbers 20482 10485759 and the default is 2048 because the first uh, 1024 bytes are used for metadata so you can write here 2048 but uh, if you want to start from 2048 just press enter and uh, using default values 2048 the last sector in the last sector we are using plus and size so I am going to use plus and one capital G. I'm going to create one GB partition. Enter partition one of type Linux and of size one GB is set. Again, press P for print. Here you can see Dev SDB one. This is our first partition SDB one. Okay, partition is created. Just press. W for write, enter. Then we are going to type command part probe and then hard drive slash dev sdb. So, okay, f disk hyphen l again. Here is our new partition dev sdb1. So our partition is created now. 
we are going to format this partition so for formatting this partition we can use the command uh, okay first we have to format this and then we have to mount this partition type m mkfs dot ext4 and then the partition name slash devs slash sdb1 enter okay the partition is now formatted <coughs> now we create a folder for mounting this partition mkdir slash part1 okay so slash part1 is our folder in which we are going to mount this new partition okay so for mounting the partition the command is mount the partition name dev sdb1 and where we are going to mount it on slash part1 enter ok after mounting we will check with the command df-ht so here is our new partition dev sdb1 and it is mounted in slash part1 folder ok now we can use this slash part1 as a new drive change drive slash part1 ll nothing is here we can create files and folders in here mkdir folder1 folder2 touch file1 file 2 ok so we can now write anything in this drive but 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 this partition is not mounted permanently after restart this partition will not be mounted so for creating permanent mounting we have to write something in our etcfs step file so let's go for it we can view the file from cat slash etc fs tab so you can see here all partitions uuid and all other options so first we have to generate the id for our new partition copy the id and paste the id in the etcfs step file so write the command blk blkid slash dev sdb1 so this is the uuid of our new partition i'm going to copy this then edit the file vim slash etc fs tab enter in this file press i for insert go to the last line and then paste okay. delete this double inverted comma then first field is uuid the second field is mount point this is slash part one then the file system that is ext4 the options are defaults and then zero zero 
escape colon w key for saving the file enter now you are done now we will check this for checking I am just going to unmount this partition so the command is u mount slash dev sdb1 check df hyphen ht so dev sdb1 is not here you can see dev sdb1 is not here now I'm going to write the command mount hyphen o that will remount all partitions from the etc fs step file okay sorry this is mount hyphen a not mount hyphen o this is mount hyphen a <coughs> enter again type the command df hyphen ht and you will see your new partition will be mounted here so there is no problem in this after restarting this partition will mount automatically ok friends this is our video stopping please like comment and share if you like this video thanks for viewing